So we're back for part five. This is the 90s underground track example in Ableton Live, Live 9 Beta again, and I've got the update. So um, just, uh, I've got no idea if there's anything new, but remember this is a beta version and that means some things may change on the finished version. So I just wanna do a little bit of a, a kind of mix uh, fix up. Um, just firstly, just have a quick listen and I uh, just wanna check a couple of things. Piano feels like it needs a little bit of a roll off on the bottom end. So that's too much. So maybe somewhere around here. Remember, I'm using earbuds as well, but these are the, the new ones and they're pretty good. Um, let's have a look. Ah, oh, yeah, I must um, point out that the other day I had listened to the bass and I added a couple of extra notes. So um, take a look. Um, these are octaves, basically. So some of these are the same note, but 12 semitones higher. So to do that, I selected it, held shift, and then up arrow, all right? So let me just uh, take a look. Let me solo that for you. So I just feel like I need a bit more livening up. I'm still, I've got to confess, still not 100% certain on the bass. I know one of you guys uh, put a comment about that, but who knows, um, we'll see what happens. Um, so uh, yeah, let's bring that string back. Okay, see I've rolled off some stuff here. I think I did that last time. I've had a little bit of a break away from this. Um, so yeah, just familiarizing myself again with the project properly. Okay, sounding good, sounding good. And um, is there anything else I wanna do at the moment? I'll tell you what I wanna do. I just wanna set up uh, a return track. So there was an effect, some of the guys were talking about this. This is a max for live effect, so max audio effect the convolution reverb and uh, I've heard this is really good so there's two here right so what we'll do is we'll drop on the pro on the return track so this is the traditional configuration for reverb I see a lot of people putting tons of insert reverbs on but that's going to end up with a lot of clutter usually so a send and return is a really good natural way to deal with reverb I know that I contradicted what I've just said on the, the 909 clap here but you know I know what I'm doing so um, it's something I recommend for beginners don't use lots of insert reverbs it can end up messy it's safer to do a return reverb all right so if you're going to do a return reverb take the dry wet mix at 100 percent that's what i've just done here um i'll tell you what i'll do um i'll experiment with that fairly soon in fact I tell you what the house piano this has got a reverb coming from the m1 here so i'm gonna take off the whole reverb and we are going to listen to this running through ascend so let's check out the convolution reverb actually got a nice sense of space without drowning the mix do you know what that's really nice I haven't even tweaked the parameters there there's probably some stuff that I could work with I'm actually quite happy with how that's sounding I'm assuming these are the impulses you can choose this is great look at that impulses are like DNA fingerprints of audio spaces so you know say for example you could take a uh, an impulse of St Paul's Cathedral and what it would do is if you put your reverb um, you loaded it up and you sang in it uh, through the reverb it's going to sound exactly like it would do in St Paul's Cathedral so it's a really great way to recreate real spaces um, so look I'm just uh, dragging on a bit here what I plan to do in fact this is what I said last time is we're going to go through doing a vocal cut up all right, so very much a 90s thing. The reason why we used to do vocal cut-ups is because we didn't have much sampler room. All right, so we had about a meg of RAM. You had to put the whole vocal in there. The only way to do that is to cut it up into tiny chunks. So you got that whole kind of rhythmic vocal thing came from a limitation of the hardware. So what I'm looking for is instruments and I'm gonna do a drum rack. This is a little technique I'm gonna show you for doing vocal cut-ups. Drum racks are designed for drums, of course, but Basically on the drum rate, you've got a whole lot of simplers. That's what happens if you drag a sample in. So I'm gonna to go to my sound library, vocals, um, big acapella collection. Um, some people have been asking me about this. Uh, to tell you the truth, I got this from a student at Point Blank. He had a hard disc and it's got tons of acapellas on it. And he said, look, take them. Um, so obviously if I'm gonna use some, I've got to disguise them really, otherwise I could get in trouble. So. Um, 
Where is it? It's the ultimate a cappella series. I mean, a lot of you guys are probably familiar with this. So you've got tons of old classics. Here we go! Try it, try it. So all this stuff. Now, um, I'll show you the technique here. So what we do is we take the full a cappella, drag it onto C1, and then we need to trigger it. Now, I'm not sure um, what's going on here where my keys are. Um, let me get the octave correct. Um, let me bring this back on. Yeah, I need to come down a couple. There we go. Right. So this is what this is what I do. Right. Um, let me take the release shorter. Let me change the start point. So this is what I do. Right. I start off with one massive long acapella. I do that sort of thing. So I just go on a little journey. Some people might say you need to do that slice um, audio. Um, so. What is that? I'm just trying to remember. Let me find the, um, yeah, I haven't got it as a clip here, but say for example, if I drag this in, right, this is another method, yeah. So the audio, you could set up your warp markers, and then what you could do is you could right click, say slice to new MIDI track. It's gonna load up all of those on individual keys. But for me, I'd rather get in there and um, experience what's going on with it, and just make decisions about what's going on, you know. So look, we come back to this. I don't know if this is going to sound right at all, so I'm just going to jam with it. Right, there's too much going on at the moment. Let me take this off. Right, that's not good. So we maybe it's a little rhythmic shout or something. So maybe something like that. I don't know. I'm not really vibing on that. So look, we're going a little journey. Sometimes there'll be sounds that are quiet, so you need to turn the volume up. Now, if it's out of tune, take transposition up. So you can experiment, you know, it's gonna speed it up, of course, so. So you just have a laugh at this. All right, this is gonna take a bit of time. That's actually quite nice. Um, let me put some reverb around that. So I might actually put that in. So it's quite nice. Let me just get this recorded. So here we go. So that's that. Now I'm gonna keep that running. I'm gonna get another sample. So what I do is I take a copy, drag this over. So it's exactly the same. Go onto this, go to the next note, open this up zoom in and we're where we left off so that's the great thing about this here we go okay so i'm just going to record something in a bit like that and um, I'm just going to do this uh, overdub now. Where's the overdub? This is something else I haven't learned on the new Live 9. Um, just hoping there's a little tool tip mouse over here. Is this it? No, that's some kind of other... Where is it? Is it this? Maybe it was already set on overdub mode. Let's have a look. Nah, this is going to be funny. I'm going to fumble away through this. Oh, do you know what? I haven't got enough time. Um, so you guys can tell me what the new overdub is on there. I'm going to set this up and um, I'm just going to, oh man, no, this is silly. I need to find it. I need to find it. Is this it? Where's your tooltips, Ableton? What's happened to them? I can't believe this. Is there something new that you've changed? Maybe it's a plus. Come on, it's got to be a plus. No, 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 no. Is there a command? 
keyboard command. Oh, this is where the video is going horribly wrong. Um, where are we? Where are we? This is a problem when you get a piece of software and they update stuff and you don't spend enough time reading the manual. Um, where are we? Oh man, this is crazy. Um, so yeah, you're all in hysterics. But look, anyway, look, this is the whole thing, right? This is the technique. You get this. I'm just gonna have to practice and then I can record them in another session. So that's cool. And then, so that kind of a vibe. Anyway, so look, we move on. <laughs> so this is the third one. All right, and you can see they're on their own separate outputs, which is which is great, great. This is a lovely technique. So you're just coming through. Okay. Zoom in there. No, it's no good. It's just trial and error. You just see what comes up. That's all right. So what I might do, actually, um, yeah, an excuse, an excuse the planes tonight. They've been a bit noisy. Um, so I might put like a ping pong delay um, over here as well. I might already have one of these actually. So look, I, let me just take a look. Let me try B. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. So anyway, you get the picture here, all right? Um, so that's the technique. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I haven't got enough time to go through and do everything. But this is my technique for you. So you literally, you just get a drum rack, get some vocals on there, get one long acapella or something that you can find, go through, finding different bits, going forward. That's nice for some parts. Then take a copy, drag, so Alt plus drag, back onto this now and you can go forward onto the next key next key so there we go so that's the technique all right um, so I'm gonna have a play around and uh, between now and the next video I'll show you what I've done and uh, we can go over that and uh, see what happens so that's the technique so vocal cut-ups and um, it's really easy just drum rack drag the same acapella and each time as you're moving forward make sure you copy from that point otherwise you're gonna have to go back to the very very beginning all right so um yeah sorry i had to be short and sweet but uh that's that's some vocal cut-ups the next one i've got no idea what i'm gonna do you're gonna have to wait and see as usual put the comments down on the page thanks to everybody if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, tell your friends all that business and uh yeah have a good week until i speak to you next